Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. I want to talk about two new concepts, relative maximum and relative minimum. Here are the definitions. A relative maximum, and it's some kind, sometimes called a local maximum. F has a relative maximum at x equals c if f of c is the largest value of f near c. And relative minimum, f has a relative minimum at x equals c if f of c is the smallest value of f near c. Now, important for you to know, because you might hear, hear me use these terms in the videos, plural of maximum is maxima, plural of minimum is minima. Let's take a look at an example. The problem says, identify the relative max and min of f on the interval from 1 to 15. Now, that's the part I've got graphed here. So this is my graph of y equals f of x. And I want to identify where the relative maxima and relative minima occur. Well, there's a bunch of them. Now, remember that a relative maximum is the value, the value f of c, which is larger than any value nearby. So here, this value 42 is a relative maximum for the function f. Right? If, you, if you look in this little neighborhood here, this is the highest point. That makes it a relative maximum. So there's a relative maximum at x equals 1. And we can similarly go through and look for the other relative maxima. There's one right here. Right? You just cover the rest of the graph with your hands and notice that in this little interval here, 35 is the highest point. Right? 35 is the highest value that the function takes on. And so there's a relative maximum at x equals 9. And finally, at this endpoint, the graph seems to hit another maximum. If you look at it, 52 is the value of, of the function here. And that's the highest value in, in some interval around that point. And so at x equals 15, we've got a relative maximum. So we have 1, 9, and 15 are the locations of the relative maxima. Now what about the relative minima? Well, it looks like these two. And I want you to pay close attention to the fact that a lot of these, first of all, two relative maxima occurred at endpoints. Endpoints are important to check. But also, relative maxima and minima don't need to look like, uh, they don't need to look curvy. You can actually have a pointy minimum or maximum. So this counts as a minimum. It is the lowest point in a neighborhood around it. Uh, that value 18 is going to be the lowest point. And the minimum actually occurs at x equals 11. And here, we have a minimum value of 11, and that minimum occurs at x equals 5. So there are relative minima at x equals 5 and x equals 11, these two points. Now, also important for you to know, a new term, relative maxima and relative minima are collectively called relative extrema. So if I say find the relative extrema, I mean find the relative max and min. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, to fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>